We continue our summer update series. We're catching up with UNA head men's basketball coach Tony Poolhole. And coach, just in April, you were named as the head coach here at UNA. That's been, what, two or three months now along. What's the process been like getting to this point, building this program as we head to the world of Division One? Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, the the first 30 days for us, we focused in on three things. Number one, and, and I think these three things um, impact winning the most. Uh, number one, we've worked, we worked on obviously who we're bringing into the program. So recruiting was essential early on. Um, had to, you know, get some guys in the roster and um, went out there. And I want to make sure that I'm congratulating my, my staff for doing a tremendous job during the, the April period and, and identifying guys and bringing guys in that not only their games translate to Division One, but their character and what they're about um, fits into our culture. So really excited about that and want to thank those guys for the hard work. But obviously the focal point for us was recruiting. Uh, it was, um, you know, bringing in those, those guys. So a lot, a lot of emphasis went into the, who we were bringing in. Uh, the second thing we did was obviously the staff, who you, who you hire, right? So um, we went out and obviously retained uh, Willie Watson, who was on uh, the previous staff here. Uh, Willie and I have a, a history together. We, we coached together at Alabama. He was a graduate assistant there, graduate manager while, uh, while we were there, and um, was fortunate to keep him on. Then obviously went out and hired Tom Behrman uh, from SEMO, uh, uh, he was out there for a couple of years as director of basketball operations, but Tom was also our video coordinator at Alabama. So have a little history with him. And then uh, really fortunate to bring in uh, Ahmad Smith. He was the associate head coach at Charleston Southern, but Ahmad and I worked together at Appalachian State uh, about 14 years ago. So um, I think each, each and every one of those guys brings a different dynamic. Um, and uh, they kind of really mesh well together. They've, they've really done a good job of, um, you know, just creating a great environment, not only in practice, but in the office. Um, and then lastly, I, I think scheduling. I think that, that's the, the last thing that we, we, we needed to, you know, just kind of uh, get, get a schedule that not only fit preparing us for the A-Sun, but at the same time, it, 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 it helps us with resources and with recruiting. So. I, we hit those three things pretty hard, hit the ground running with those three areas, and I think uh, we've done a pretty good job of getting there. Coach, let's jump into the coaching staff just a little more in depth. You just rattled off the coaches that are here with you. Um, this group, what, what do you like? What works? I know you have connections with all of them. How important has that been in this process so far? Well, I think whenever you're uh, installing a culture and a brand and your, your, your terminologies and philosophies, uh, I think it's that, that, that adjustment period, um, when you have people around you that understand the lingo, that understand what you're looking for, uh, Ben, I think it makes it easier when, when you have those type of guys. And uh, we have that. We have that. We have guys that understand what our expectation from a defensive standpoint is going to, you know, what, what our expectations are and from an offensive standpoint. So uh, I think I'm fortunate to, to just have guys like, those three individuals on, on my staff. Coach, you mentioned uh, all the players you guys went out and recruited. 11 newcomers, I believe they'll be joined by returnees. Kendall Stafford, he was an all-conference selection a year ago. D.D. Smith, we saw him hit a lot of big shots last season. So one of the new things with Division One, you guys are able to practice during the month of July. Everybody's here during the summer portion. What are you guys working on now? What are you trying to accomplish? Well, we told, we told our guys that, you know, we're going to provide them with an environment that, from an offensive standpoint, they're going to have freedom to play. But this is going to be a program that's always going to hang their hat on the defensive end of the floor. So we're taking the month of July to really, really install our, you know, just our defensive philosophy, our defensive mindset. Um, and we've been able to do that. Our, we've had three workouts now on the floor. Um, and, and I can tell you right now, the guys have embraced it. And I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Um, as far as the, the you know, the staff, uh, you're looking at guys that, again, bring different dynamics. Um, right now, I've put um, Coach Watson and Coach Smith on the defensive end of the floor, so they're really locking in on uh, just the daily habits and, and what we need uh, from our guys from a defensive standpoint and, and practices. And then myself and, and, and Coach Berriman are working 
uh, right now and installing what we want to do offensively and the pace that we want to play in. So I think right now it's a, it's a good blend. Uh, but again, what what is what has made it what has made it easier has been the fact that I've got a staff that really understands what I'm looking for. Last thing for you, Coach. Uh, earlier we released Gonzaga on the schedule, a series with Jacksonville State this season. Just how exciting is it to see these games come out? Well, you know, for, first and foremost, um, I think I think it's important for our fan base. Um, you know, you, you look at you look at Gonzaga. I think that that helps our that helps our program. Uh, you know, from a recruiting standpoint, you know, that, that, that's that, playing a program like that with that prestige with with the coaching staff that they have you know I think that's that's a, that's just a great learning tool for us as as a program but I think it what it does is I think it, it lights a fire in, in our in our fan base um, obviously you you look at the Jacksonville State uh, home and home series uh, the folks that live in Florence that live in the Shoals community they they understand that rivalry and uh, just fortunate that, you know, Coach Harper and I had an opportunity to uh, do something special like this. And, uh, again, just really, really excited for not just those games, but the games that are in our schedule, non-conference, I think it's going to prepare us for what we need to deal with when it comes to the A-Sun because the A-Sun is going to be a handful as it is. As UNA head basketball coach Tony Poole getting set to lead UNA into our first year of Division I competition. Be sure to visit RoarLions.com for more updates on UNA men's basketball teams.